Hello everyone, I'm Miss Gretchen with Rubies and Moonstones. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you will like it here and would consider subscribing. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. I really, really do greatly appreciate each and every one of you, which is what part of this video is all about. We are celebrating the fact that I have hit over 1,000 subscribers to my channel. And the 1,000 subscriber giveaway will be a part of this whip and chat. And I will get into that. Thank you so much for helping me get to this point. Um, and yes, I will talk about that more momentarily. But uh, this is my ninth whip and chat. Um, WIP stands for work in progress and so this is my current work in progress and you are welcome to pull out yours whether it be a diamond painting or a paint by number or whatever you are working on and work alongside me or you can listen to this in the form of a podcast and listen to me while you are just going about your daily activities whatever you want to do um, that is what this is about and I will just chatter on for an hour or so about various things um, and this is my third attempt at trying to film this and I really hope that it works because I want to get this uploaded and out um, and I mean ugh, you video two hours worth of stuff and it doesn't work either time it's so frustrating but anyway um, okay so uh, I, I kind of forget to say this sometimes. Um, so first, the canvas that I'm going to be working on here today is called Stained Glass Flower by Peggy Collins and Diamond Art Club. And this is a piece that I got off of Amazon. And I'll tell you a couple stories about this piece when I start talking as well. But the other things that I am going to work with are my tree minder since I am working on an inclined plane from making lemonade um, and I will leave links for all of these things in the description box uh, the tray I am using the most right now with this size is a firefly tray and this is the switch mini max shorty version um, I really like that one I have two Diamond Art Club pins with their multi-placers and single placer tips from Everlasting Tips. Um, and then I have glue dots in my single placers and I have Randa's Crafty Corner Spice Latte Scented Putty in my multi placers. So that is what I am using. This does have the perforated plastic cover, um, which I actually really like having that option especially because on this one, so I'm doing like one and a half because the first perforation was only this far down. Um, but I really like how it has this tight crease that I can make. And then as I am not working on it, I can pull it up and over. So, um, so let's go ahead and get zoomed in on that spot. And then I will talk to you more about why I'm working on this canvas and some stories about it, um, some other things going on, etc. So I'll get my light pad turned on, get you zoomed in, and we will start chatting. Okay, so again, sorry for the snoring bulldog in the background. Um, just be glad you don't have to smell her too. Whew, bulldogs. But I, gosh, I love her. I know I talk about her a lot, but... I would not have it any other way. So this is, I believe, the first Peggy Collins piece that I am actually completing. Um, and I do have some stories that go along with this canvas. Um, so I bought it back when I just was very, very, very beginning, getting into diamond painting. Um, and I wanted to give diamond paintings to a couple nieces of mine for Christmas. And so I had one that was like a reindeer and then, you know, Christmas was like a day away or two days. I didn't have time to try and order something new. So I had to look for something in my stash. Um, and it was for girls who were nine. Um, 
one just had her 10th birthday actually, uh, who I gave this piece to. And, um, so yeah, so I was looking and I, her mom thought that she might like this design. So I gave this one to her and then I was kind of wishing, I, well, I figured I would get, just get it back. Um, I would order another one for myself so that I could complete it, but then it wasn't available on Amazon for quite a while. And then they brought it back. And of course, since they brought it back now, the new prints have the perforated cover. So that's great. Um, but I'm kind of regretting the fact that I chose to give this to my now 10 year old niece because I do feel like this is a more difficult piece to complete as a beginner and that I should have picked something that was a little less confetti heavy, but I wasn't something that I was totally aware of at the time and definitely not something that I could know by just looking at the pictures of, um, online or even even like this one you could look at the picture of it and and know there's going to be lots of color changes in it so um so yeah so I hope that I didn't turn her off from diamond painting because I gave her a piece that was a little bit more difficult I did not give her a new one for her birthday since she still hasn't finished this piece but now I'm thinking maybe that's why and that's another reason kind of why I wanted to complete it is just to see how difficult it is but of course what is maybe kind of easy for me I've got to try and put that into 10 year old perspective you know which can be difficult to do so um so that's part of it and so then I went to go buy it again because I saw that it was on Amazon again and I purchased it and Amazon said that they delivered it on a Sunday, which is weird, but I have actually got deliveries on Sundays and I don't know why they started doing that. Um, but this Sunday I did not get it. Um, and so I eventually reached out to Diamond Art Club or not Diamond Art Club because it's from Amazon um, and said that I never got it. And so they did reimburse me. You know, Amazon is pretty great about that. Um, they're usually really good about those types of things. I've had decent experiences anyway. Um, anyway, I, uh, so I got reimbursed for it, but by the time that I did, the design was again, no longer available on Amazon. So I wasn't able to buy it again. Um, luckily it was back in stock not very long ago, so I was able to pick it up and that is why I now have it. Um, so, and the reason that I decided to pull it out and kit it up just a couple of days ago is because I am also currently working on Lost With You, uh, by Richard Lorenz, which is an archived Richard Lorenz piece, um, and it's huge, it's very, very long, and then short. Um, so, so that's the one that I'm working on, and I'm trying to do kind of my post review, my next post review in a different manner, and show you steps along the way. Um, you know, not doing an unboxing of it, but kind of showing you the canvas at the beginning and then as I'm working on it and at the end and see what you guys think of that method. I kind of tried that with my art dot post review. Um, so if you saw that, you'll have to let me know what you thought about that format. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Would you have rather have just seen the finished product and having me talk about that at the end? Um, one of the things that I think is kind of nice about talking about it as I go along is as I am working on it and different things or problems come up, then I can talk about it as it's fresh in my mind. Um, but I do also try to make notes and go back and remember those things as well. So, and as always, if I talk about a, um, video that I have made and, or a, diamond painting, I will insert a picture while I'm talking about the diamond painting. Um, so you know what I'm referring to. 
and I will put links in the description box to what I'm talking about diamond painting wise and or videos and I'll put links to my videos. I usually try to put them also in what they call a card which will be in the upper right corner as I talk about a video. Um, I try to remember to do that now that I have learned how to do that. So I'm still learning about YouTube, everybody. Um, I'm still learning how to record, how to edit, how to try and make good content. So, um, so, so all of that stuff is kind of as I go. Um, I really did enjoy having that art dot piece to do in between magic roses and lost with you since magic roses and again i will insert a picture here um maybe even a picture of the actually completed diamond painting versus the image that they have online since she is completed now and i did do a post revert view so it's not like you haven't had a chance to see her yet um magic roses had about 136 thousand diamonds on it and took me about 126 hours, I think, to complete. Um, and so it was really nice to have just that smaller diamond painting to work on. Um, it only took me a few days to do, and it was really fun and easy. There was no static kidding up. Um, it was amazing. And I am an affiliate with Art Dot. However, I told Art Dot. And I've told you that I will always be completely honest in my feedback. And, um, and so that is the honest truth that I really did enjoy it and that I, I thought it was a really good product and they do have licensed art. And I did check with them. Um, oh, and that because I am an affiliate with art dot, I do have a coupon code that you can use to receive 10% off, which is Ruby R U B I. Um, and I have an affiliate link that I will put in the description box. Um, uh, that being said, if you do decide to use one of those coupon codes, just know that I may receive a small commission off of that. Um, and I would definitely appreciate anything I would receive in that manner. I would put anything that I receive back into my channel. Um, and also please do not feel obligated to use that coupon code if you have a better discount rate that you can use out there by all means use that um, in fact i think the last time that i was on their website for first orders you could get 15 percent off or something that's better than my coupon code use that um, and my code only works for their stuff on their website and not on amazon so but um, a, a few people had asked me about their designs because they didn't have very many, th they don't have very many designs right now. And they asked if they were a new company. Um, and I, I didn't ask for like the specific date of when they, um, you know, when, when the company started, but they confirmed that my response that I gave to that person was correct, but just in case other people were wondering, they have been in the accessory diamond painting business for a, a little while and have just recently, or more recently anyway, started doing diamond paintings. So that's why they don't have a whole lot of designs at the moment, but they are working on expanding that. And especially since I think they were going to see like how does how does this go and how do people respond to our diamond paintings um and so right now like all of their designs are in round and not square they said that they may do square at some time maybe they don't i don't know um but and and I don't know, we'll see. I may have the opportunity to try and do a larger version of the image that they sent me, sun, Sunflowers in Twilight, so that I can do kind of a size comparison um, and see how their renderings of that image are at the different sizes as well. So we'll see what happens with that. But um, 
But yeah, it was a really nice break to take working on that one in between Magic Roses and Lost With You. Because Lost With You, like I said, it's very long and short. Um, and it has like 110,000 diamonds on it. But I love Richard Lauren's birds. I have not completed one of his really large designs like this one yet. And so I was very excited to do it. But it was just a really large canvas to jump to after having just completed Magic Roses. And I'm not sure how I ended up with only the big ones left to do, but I did. Um, so anyways, I'm working on that one in these really large sections right now. And that just doesn't really make well, or I didn't think that that would work very well for a whip and chat. Um, I, I did try to record it with my first attempt at recording this whip and chat was on that canvas because at that point in time, I did have a smaller area that I could zoom in on. And again, I'll just have to see my review of it to kind of see that what I'm talking about. But um, after that whip and chat recording failed, then I didn't have a nice small area to zoom in on. And I thought that I needed to have a better canvas to work on for the whip and chat. And so that's why I grabbed this one and kitted it up. And, and part of the reason was because, yeah, I wanted to see how, how it went with um, my 10 year old niece being able to complete it. And so then maybe, I don't know. Do you think I, I think I should maybe just go ahead and give her another one and say, Hey, you know what? The one I gave you was really, really hard. So I'm just going to give you another one and you can complete it. If you want to, you don't have to, you can give it to your younger sister or whatever you want to do. But I, I've completed it and seen how intense it is. And I just wanted to give you one that I thought would be more fun. What do you think? Do you think I should do that? There's, there's, is, is this one too difficult for a, a 10 year old? Um, you know, it does take a lot of time and patience to do these things, which, you know, you don't necessarily have as a young kid. Um, I know some kids do and some kids don't. So, you know, my daughter who is three, almost four, but technically three, she really wants to do a diamond painting like mommy. Um, but I don't feel like she has the fine motor coordination skills to really do a diamond painting yet. Although she is getting there. And so I bought her these uh, pictures that are like sticker by numbers to do. And we haven't even completed one of those <laughs> because, you know, we start working on it and it's fun. Um, but we don't necessarily put the stickers where they're supposed to go because we think it's funny. And then I'm the whole point was to try and see if you can follow the directions when you're doing this um, before we do a diamond painting. And then I got her. I think I talked about this in another whip and chat and I just dropped my lid. Hold on. And then if she completed those, then I was going to let her do these little princess keychains. But those are with small round um diamonds. So then I found these things called big gems. Um, and they actually have larger diamonds and there's like a whole bunch of stickers that she can complete, but she still gets to use the diamond painting pen like mommy. And, um, so she, she was really excited about that. And we completed a little wand that she made for her brother, which I thought was really nice. And then she wanted to complete a dragon for daddy. Um, the wand only had like four of this color and four of that color. And so she completed that one really quick. And then we started working on the dragon and it had, I don't know, she picked a color there was like two of, and then she picked green and there was like 16 or 20 green ones. And we have not gotten through the green and we have not gone back to work on the green. So you know, uh, the desire and attention span granted, she was getting sick at that point in time. Um, and so I saw her just kind of starting to fade as she was working on it that day. 
and I told her it's okay we don't have to finish it when you are tired then we take a break because it's just supposed to be fun and that is okay um and she was kind of reluctant to stop at first but I finally convinced her to stop and then that's when I took her temperature and she did have a fever that was when we first found out that she had a fever that was last week and she had to stay home for three days um and then my son got sick following that, of course. I thought that he got her sick because he had a small temperature before that. But then he ended up having a really high temperature after that. His temperature, I think, started on Friday. He was, he was mostly sick over the weekend. Um, and then now he has gotten someone at his daycare sick because um, he's at an at-home daycare. So now that daycare is closed and he cannot go back until maybe Friday at the absolute soonest, um, which we would have kept him home for the 4th of July anyway, but I had been planning to go into work yesterday and today. Um, but now he is home, so I need to stay home to take care of him. Um, which is fine, but it's a bummer because I, I did need to go into work. And that's also why I only have these very, very short windows to do my recordings for my whip and chat. So I tried then. So my first attempt at a whip and chat was two days ago on July 1st. And um, I recorded the entire thing. I recorded something before that and my microphone worked. And then I recorded my whip and chat. And then I go back to start editing it and the microphone didn't work on that recording. Um, and then I started recording yesterday on July 2nd. I checked that the microphone was recording and then, um, it worked, but in order to check the microphone, then you have to like undo the microphone to make sure that it's working and then put the microphone back together again. So it's kind of silly to check the microphone. Really, I just need to make sure that the lights on my, on the, on the respective pieces of the microphone are both on and that's supposed to tell me that it's working, but which right now it says that it is, but who knows? Um, and then somehow I got switched over to the, um, slow-mo version of recording and I don't know how that happened either um, because slow-mo is not right next to the video option that I selected or anything like it had to really slide over several options it's it's just my phone that I'm using so if you have a an, an iPhone um, you know you know how that works but slow-mo is several options over from from video and so I have no idea how it got there but it did so uh, it recorded for a whole four minutes and stopped and I never checked it I just checked now and it is supposedly still recording so I I do hope that this one worked so it makes me wonder <laughs> was the universe against me recording those previous videos for some reason did I say something that I was not supposed to put out I don't know so um I don't know. That's silly, but, uh, anyway, let's see. 1,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy moly. I cannot believe it. Thank you so much, everyone, for subscribing and supporting me. Wow. Um, so yeah, we'll do a giveaway and I'll give you a uh, code word that you'll put in a complete sentence in the comment section and then I need to be a subscriber to the channel. Sorry, I am looking for <laughs> a color, but I'm having a hard time finding it. Um, and I'll go over all those directions in a little bit when I actually do get to it. But um, I am so honored and humbled and I really, really do not even know how to express how it makes me feel to have have reached this wonderfully amazing 
milestone and and for some of you who are newer to my channel and maybe have not listened to like my first whip and chats where I introduce myself and things like that um I am you know new to YouTube and I I started my channel on January 10th so the fact that I have hit over a thousand subscribers in less than six months is literally mind-blowing and baffling to me and I am just so incredibly honored by that um, and it really makes me feel good and it makes me feel like others see value in me and what I'm doing and that is a really really good feeling to have and so I thank all of you for that um, and you know as those of you especially who have been around since the beginning and really kind of helped to get the ball rolling I I'm incredibly thankful for all of you. Of course, every single person, though, matters. Whether you did find me at the beginning or just recently, I am just so incredibly grateful for all of you out there. And I know that most of the people joined me because of two tutorial videos that I did, and so... I want to make sure that I continue to make content that people want to see. Um, that is the reason that they subscribed. And, um, and so I, I really feel like I need to make more of like those tutorial type videos, but I'm worried that I am running out of ideas for that. Um, and that maybe I... But at the same time, then I think, well, I didn't, I didn't have the ideas for the videos that I created when I started the channel. Like they came over time. So hopefully I can eventually think of other videos like that to make. Um, but I just, I just want to make sure that I continue to make the content. That is the reason why people subscribe to my channel so that people continue to see what they want to see why they joined my channel. Does that make sense? So, um, so if you have any ideas and suggestions of content that you would like to, me to create and see, um, please let me know. I really do appreciate feedback. Um, especially, well, just, just be kind. I talked about that in a previous video too. Um, how, you know, I am, I am, I am learning and so if you have some ideas and suggestions for me I will very much appreciate it um, you know there's just there's always a nice way and a not nice way to say things um, and so uh, how's my volume is my volume okay on this video are the notifications okay on this video you know who you are um, and uh, I, I think that I've gotten better about that. And so, I, hey, I'm going to insert a notification right now to like the video while we are thinking about it before we get to the end um, because that does really help the video um, or the my channel to have likes to the video. And I know that that's an easy thing to totally forget about. So just, you know, while we're talking about it, if you can quick go and click on that like button, that really does help. Um, and... Why not add a, hey, if you like what you're hearing so far, why don't you click that subscribe button as well? And probably the notification bell, just because right now my videos, when I upload them, are very, very random. I would like to make Whip and Chats a more regular thing, but during the school year, it gets harder for me to be able to record. And having young children, it makes it harder for me to be able to record. Um, and you know, I just have to find these windows to record and then edit. So like, it just, it's, 
it's challenging. But as the school year picks up again, I am really hoping to be able to um, continue to at least make whip and chats on a regular basis, especially now that I'm getting more and more comfortable doing the whip and chats. Um, so, man, this is really confetti heavy. I am switching out colors left and right now. In the beginning, I had some decent sections of colors to do, but now there's a lot of different colors. Sorry, I got distracted trying to find a color. Um, I did go back and listen to like my first whip and chat on... I didn't mean to, like I clicked on it for some reason. I wanted to see something and it started playing and I thought, oh my goodness, I sound so timid and scared, but I was, I had no idea what I was doing. I was nervous about starting to share information about my life on the internet, um, of which, you know, I still am going to try and be careful about what details I do choose to share. Uh, but I, I do feel like I am starting to get more comfortable. Um, now that I'm not recording next to the children's bedrooms, I also feel like I am able to just speak in a more normal voice too. Um, but and that may be helping with the volume. I don't know. What do you think? See, this is why I love comments. So the all these these uh, these talks about volume. There's you know a specific subscriber who I mentioned in a previous video how she talked to me about my volume is not great, um, and so I tried to fix it. And and now we've had kind of a fun comment conversation going back and forth and I've had a chance to get to know her really or I mean not great but better you know as as well as you can with somebody on the internet and and that has been really fun for me so I really do enjoy the comments and um there are several of you who uh, you know um comment on multiple videos or always comment on my whip and chats and like we just I, I, I start to get to know you more and I know your tag names and um and that's really fun for me. Um, I still keep wanting to make a video of uh, about diamond painting pens and tips and glue dots and putty and things like that because I do. I kind of want to do that as a precursor to multi placing because I have had some requests to make a multi placing video, which I I had not planned on doing since. There are so many of those online already, but then I thought about it and I do feel like we all learn in different ways. We all teach in different ways. And so maybe the way that I explain something might benefit someone. And when you are teaching, if it can help just one person do better, Preferably it helps more than one, but still, you know, if you can, if you can positively impact one person's life, even, I mean, diamond painting's not like learning how to read, but still, then, then I think it's worth it. So, so I do think, and, and because people have requested, I, I would like to make a, a video just explaining how I do it, even though I still feel like I am learning, I can explain to you how I have gotten to where I am and the suggestions that I have on how to do it. But I do think that a video about pens and multi-placers and things like that would be valuable to have made prior to doing a multi-placing video because I feel like that is really important as our trades. So perhaps I will do something like that um, where I do that video, which makes me think of another subscriber who suggested that I get some pens that look like um, rubies and moonstones in color. And so I did, I found some, but I haven't gotten them out yet. And I, maybe I just should, but I wanted to use them in this video that I have been planning to make. And I just haven't had the time to make the video uh, for various reasons. You know, I've been making other videos and that I just have prioritized over 
this went on pins. And then now I, because of the amazingly rapid increase in subscriber count, then I also have, um, I've really wanted to get my whip and chats out. And I, I also really wanted to do a whip and chat um, like my last one. That was not a giveaway. Wait, no, my last, was my last one a giveaway? It was. I wanted to do one, but I don't know. There was one that I really wanted to squeeze in there bef in between um, su subscriber numbers. And I, I just, and I, I am, I am not complaining about, about it. I just never thought that my giveaways would end up being as close together. You know, I thought I would be lucky to have 50 subscribers in a year. Um, not a thousand in, in less than six months, you know? Um, yes, I did have the goal in my head in the back of my mind. It would be really awesome if I could have a thousand subscribers within a year. Um, but in all reality, I did not think that that was very realistic. I thought that that happened to a few lucky people. And so I, I do feel like I am one of those very, very lucky ones. Um, and I did not tell people in my personal life about this. I'm starting to tell a few people now. Um, but therefore I know that it, and not only do I not have a thousand friends and family members, um, but that's also how I know that it's, it's not all just people that I know subscribing to my channel. So, um, but yeah, so now that it is actually taking off, I, I really want to commit to it and to, to making this be something. So, so yeah, so I want to try and do regular, um, whip and chats and I want to do some more tutorials and, you know, any, any ideas that you guys have, I would very much appreciate. And again, thank you so much for your support and to getting me here to where I am today. And I just, I, I still cannot believe it. I just, I really can't. It's just that amazing. So that being said, I have definitely talked long enough that it is time to do the subscriber code word. Um, and so how the, the, the giveaway works is I am going to give out a code word shortly and I am going to, um, and then I will ask you to, to put the code word in a complete sentence in the comment section and be a subscriber to the channel. Um, by July 11th. So anybody who does that uses the code word in a complete sentence in the comment section and is a subscriber to the channel on or before July 11th will be entered into the 1000 subscriber giveaway, which is for a $25 gift card to diamond art club. Um, and I want to give you guys about a week for everybody to have a chance to listen to the whip and chat and and enter so that's how i selected my date and then please allow me a few days after the 11th to um to be able to go through and you know find everybody's names everybody who entered and to create my decision wheel and and make my um announcement of the winner video. So, so don't expect that to be posted on the 11th because people can still enter on the 11th. And then I'm still going to need a day or two after that, um, to actually upload the winner video. Um, and I'm going to talk more about how I plan to do some giveaways in the future momentarily, but the, uh, the word that I would like to use as the giveaway code word is celebrate. I feel like that word is very applicable in so many ways right now. Um, and to the fact that, you know, the whole point of this is to celebrate the subscriber count 
and I guess I'm giving you some ideas, but that's fine. Um, but also, uh, it's July 4th tomorrow, um, and so we are celebrating that holiday, at least in the United States, you know, that's a holiday that we have here. Um, so, uh, so yeah, and, um, so that's a code word. And, um, I think I forgot to mention that this giveaway is in no way associated with Diamond Art Club or YouTube, um, in any manner, except for the fact that I am going to be purchasing the gift card from Diamond Art Club. Other than that, like, it's, you know, they have nothing to do with the giveaway portion. Um, so I, I always need to throw in that disclaimer and all of the instructions and everything related to the giveaway will also be in the description box as well. So if you have any questions about how that works, you can always look in the description box. And of course, if you have any questions about it, you can email me or you can uh, type the question into the comment section as well. So, okay. It's so weird to record the same video multiple times because I feel like it's taken me, I feel like the first time was average. And then last time I feel like I was able to hit on more points in a shorter period of time. I know this time I feel like I am taking longer to hit on all of those points. Um, but Hey, you know what? It is what it is. And I just want this video to record. And I mean, I hope that y'all enjoy it regardless, but anyway, man, so many color changes. This was a, ter I think this was a terrible choice to give a 10 year old. I am so sorry to her. Um, I think it's fun for me. I think it's a great piece for experienced diamond painters. Um, it's, it's nice and small. It's only 13 by 13 inches. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's got fun, bright colors to it. Um, I just think for a beginner who is working on their first actual canvas that she, I know she had done like, I don't know what it was, stickers and coasters and things like that before. It was a bad, but I don't think it was a bad choice for a 10 year old, but I am enjoying it. I think it's going to be fun to have up. Um, and I don't know. Yeah. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section as well. Um, and what should I get her instead? She's really into science, which I think is really cool. That's I got what we got her for her birthday was um, a, a book about random science facts. Uh, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to get her besides that. When I think of like the small little um, kits that they have on Amazon and their, you know, little diamonds type things, you know, I don't know what to get her. So anyway, uh, I say anyway a lot, don't I? Anyway, this and anyway that. So I know I, I, I briefly touched on the fact that, um, it is Independence Day, the 4th of July tomorrow. So possibly when this comes out. So happy 4th of July to everyone here in the USA. Um, so another question that I have is, are you a big fireworks fan or not? So personally, I am not a big fireworks fan. Um, I do think they are fun, uh, to watch, you know, on the 4th of July and things like that. They can be fun. Um, but I am not someone who likes to buy them and shoot them off. I am terrified of them and how dangerous they are. I do know of some people who have been injured. One person who was injured incredibly bad. Um, but, uh, and, 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 it, and so it scares me, you know, having a son now and I know boys tend to be into fireworks, although my husband's not super into fireworks, but, um, 
you know, I know that he's going to be eager to be allowed to shoot them off himself someday. And I am going to be terrified to allow him to do that. And I'm sure all of his parents' friends will be allowing them to shoot them off. And I'm not going to want to. But um, I always say, though, that for those people who really do like to spend money on fireworks and shooting them off, that is the place to be for the 4th of July. You want to go over to that person's house. Um, so, I mean, now that we do have children... I I will send my husband out to go pick out some fun fireworks to do with my daughter, especially the ones that you can do earlier in the day, like smoke bombs and snakes and, um, oh, the, the tanks, um, you know, things like that. Um, some fountains and some smaller ones, maybe a couple of big ones. I, I do have the ear protection muffs for her. And last year she was kind of interested in it, but then not really. Um, she wanted to eat, wear her earmuffs and then she didn't. And then of course my son was an itty bitty tiny tiny baby. Um, so I really wanted to protect his ears, but I didn't think about purchasing uh, ear protection in time to get it. So um, I did think about that this year. So I do have some ear protection for him this year. And then I did invite my parents over to our house for uh, the 4th of July, and, and they are coming. Um, but then, I, like I said, I just mentioned how, like, you want to go to the house where it's the people who want to buy a bunch of fireworks and shoot them off and spend a lot of money, and that is not me. <laughs> that is not my house. And here I invited my parents over, so I, I still need to figure out a way to show them a good time. Um, but part of them coming is has now turned into, they are going to take my daughter home with them to do a grandparents' uh, camp, is what we call it, in the summertime. And so they, they did this with my older niece and nephew, um, and, and so now I, I'm going to have them start doing it with my kids. Um, I'm not going to send my one-year-old right now just because I feel like they're going to be able to do a lot more fun things with, um, just my, my daughter than having a, a one-year-old, uh, you know, that, that'll just hold them back from being able to do some fun things. So he can go next year, um, and she did get to go spend, you know, quite a bit of time with him last year in the summer. And I know that she had so much fun. Um, and, and that was while we were, uh, you know, in the hospital with my son. But, um, and grandma said that, you know, she just kept them, kept her really busy so that she didn't, you know, think about missing mommy and daddy very much um because it really seemed like she didn't miss this at all she was having so much fun but it was it was a long time it was well over a week that she was she was there because he was in the NICU and and all of that so um but uh yeah so so she's going to go out to their house and have fun on the farm and I mean I really wish that they lived closer or that I just lived closer to them. I love their house. I love the acreage. I'm so lucky to have gotten to grow up there. It is just so beautiful. And I know that I have referenced this before, but so it's just going to be so nice. It's such an, a nice place for a kid to get to run around and play. And I wish that I could have that for my own kids. I wish that I could have an acreage for them to live on and, have animals and just the freedom to, you know, climb trees and do whatever they want to outside and not have to worry about cars and whatnot. And, um, you know, we had a really fun experience raising animals and the babies and all of that. And, I still hope that someday we may be able to afford that. And maybe it's better to wait until um, the kids are a little bit older and they could help me on the farm. Since my husband has such extreme allergies, it's not like he would be able to help me in the barn. Um, 
So if, if my kids were a bit older, not that I would have them work and do too much, but you know, if they could help me with a few things every once in a while, um, then maybe it is better to just wait a few years to get that started and maybe we can find a decently developed acreage to move into and um and and make our own and buy the horse I've always wanted and stuff like that that being said like I know that my dad wouldn't ever let me have a horse because he thinks that they're dangerous animals Future Miss Gretchen here, and I apologize for the interruption, but during editing, I realized that I completely forget to acknowledge that my dad did actually get me a horse when I was about 16 years old. It was just a miniature horse, and as I am telling these stories, I am purely only thinking about the large horses that you can actually ride around, like with a saddle and stuff, um, and I totally forgot about the miniature horse that my dad did get me, and so... I just needed to put in this edit so that um, future stories make sense and that I'm being completely honest um, and to also thank my father for getting me that miniature horse because I really, really did love um, all of the experiences that I had with her and I know that he thought that giving me a miniature horse was a safe option. Um, I mean, you can't get bucked off a miniature horse because a 16 year old should not be riding a miniature horse. Um, and so I, I, I really did enjoy that little pony and I will tell you stories about her another time. I just needed to make sure that I put in this edit. So thank you, dad, for getting me Rosie. I absolutely loved her. I did have a horse. It was just a miniature horse and not one of those big horses that you can ride around. Okay. That is all. Thank you so much. Um, and, and he had horses growing up and he did 4-H and all of that stuff. And, and, and they can be, I mean, people have definitely gotten injured riding horses. It can be a dangerous sport, just like, uh, football and, um, car racing and and things like that so i i understand him wanting to protect me from that but i also think that horses are the most beautiful and gorgeous creatures out there and there's just something so mystical and beautiful and relaxing and i don't know i just i i love being able to ride a horse um and I, I wish that I had more opportunities to do so. And obviously now as my life has gotten more busy with my children, I, I don't have the opportunity to do that as much. But where we lived before, I was able to start taking lessons from this woman. And then once you were able to show her that you knew how to ride, and, and I did have experience because my grandpa um, had us learn how to ride when we were little, my, my dad's father. Um, and you know, it did, it did help though, to still take those lessons as an adult. But, but like I said, this lady, she would then, you know, when, once you were able to show her, you knew how to handle a horse. Um, she would let you go on trail rides with her and just borrow one of her horses for the day. Um, I, you know, I think I, I paid her something to be able to do that too. So it helped her out in that manner too, but she would let me ride a horse and then I could gallop and canter and whatever out in an open field with this group of people. And it was really fun. Um, but of course I haven't had the opportunity to do that now in quite some time. So, and I moved away from where that woman is. So it's not like I can just go say, Hey, remember me? Can I ride your horse again? Um, where we lived at before we moved here too, there was, we had a neighbor not the type of neighbor that you talk to, just they, they, they were clearly someone who did not want you to come up and talk to them. Um, you know, there's those houses that are just very closed off. Um, it, I went, I went to their house one time because one of their horses was out. And so I was going to go knock on their door and say, Hey, just so you know, you've got a miniature horse out on the highway. Um, but they literally had, gates in front of their steps 
So like you could not get up to their front door. So I, I think my husband ended up calling the non-emergency line and asking the police to go out because I wasn't going to go over that little gate and knock on his door after seeing that. So anyway, however, he did have all these horses and, and it was very nearby our house. So we could go on a walk with my daughter and just go look at the horses. And that was always very, very fun. And she really enjoyed it. Um, and he had big horses and he had little horses. He especially had Appaloosas. Um, I, I do really like Appaloosas, but my favorite ones are those that are like all brown. And then they just have that patch over their rump. Um, that's white with spots and especially when it's like a really clear, crisp patch. Um, those are my favorite Appaloosas. My favorite horse uh, though, because of course when I was little as a horse lover, I had books. Um, I know one of my subscribers in particular is going to enjoy this conversation. I hope that she listens. Uh, let me know if you're listening, a pony girl. Um, so, uh, one of my favorite horse books when I was little, I had, and I would look through and, um, and, and so I fell in love with the Frisian. Oh my goodness. Frisian, black Frisian horses with their feathery feet and mane and their bigger, I'll insert pictures of what I'm talking about of each of these guys too. So, um, I'll insert a picture of the Appaloosa that I was describing here if you're interested to see what I'm talking about and I'll insert a picture of the Frisian. Ah, oh, Frisians are very expensive though so I doubt that I'll ever have a chance to own one of those and I'm guessing to have an Appaloosa like the one that I want would be very expensive as well but and I mean horses are just expensive. Anyway yeah I hope that someday I can have my own farm like my parents do um with just a few acres and to then be able to um, yeah, get that horse that I've always wanted. But the whole point of this conversation was to say, I understand now my dad's fear of horses and not really wanting to get me one because they can be dangerous. And I know just similar to how I am fearful of letting my son shoot off fireworks when he gets to be that age, I would be fearful of letting my children ride horses because I know that they can be dangerous as well. Um, and you know, that's a hard thing about being a parent, right? So I don't know. That's, I, that's just something I'm going to have to learn as I go along. I don't, I, I don't know how parents learn how to let go. You know, I'm, I'm at the age where I still very much have control over everything, but I know that that's not going to last very long. It's, it's already starting to disappear. And, um, and I know it's only going to get worse. My stepdaughter, you know, she's driving. She's about to go off to college. Um, you know, I'm not really worried about her going off to college too much. I think that she is going to be very responsible. I do, of course, worry about her driving. I think everybody worries about everybody driving. I worry about my husband driving. I worry about my parents driving. I always want to know when everybody gets home. Um, but uh, I, I do think that my stepdaughter is going to be a very responsible college kid. That being said, all college kids, you know, even, even the most responsible kids in, in high school, once you get out on your own and you start to have freedom that you were not granted as a child, sometimes that can go to your head. So um, I don't see that happening with my stepdaughter. So yeah, that was a totally different whip and chat than the ones that I originally recorded. The, the first two were actually pretty similar and this one kind of went off on a completely different tangent, but you know what? That's okay. And maybe the, whoops, um, maybe the camera deities will allow me to post this whip and chat now. The camera karma, the camera luck, whatever it is that has been preventing me from being able to successfully record a whip and chat. I really hope that this one has worked. So, Hey, I just checked. It says it's still recording. That's a good sign. And so now I just have to check and make sure that my voice is actually being recorded. 
the lightest salon on this mic, the lightest salon on that mic. I think I'm good to go, but obviously I thought I was fine the last two times and it didn't work. So, all right. Anyway, um, that is where I will end this video. But before I go, oh, there is something important I did want to say. So I said that I was going to do um, giveaways at 100, 250, 500, 750, and 1,000 subscribers. We have now hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. And so this is the last in that series um, of giveaways that I said that I was going to do. However, that being said, I do not plan on stopping giveaways just because I have hit my 1,000 subscriber mark. I have had a lot of fun doing them. Oh, and I forgot to say a really important part about the winner. Okay, so the, whoever the winner of the giveaway is, by the way, um, I'll ask them to email me and then I'll ask them to go back into their original comment and add a word. And that just, they're the only, you're the only person who can edit your own comment. And so um, that just helps to verify that it's the actual winner who is reaching out to me and not someone else, not, not an imposter, um, you know, and, and unfortunately that does happen in this day and age. So it's just kind of a safety for you and for me. Um, and then once that, uh, edit has been made, then I will send you the gift card to that email that you email me from. I, f I forgot to say that part in the beginning, but it will be with the information in the description box. Okay. Back to future giveaways, even though I, I really want to wrap up this video. Um, so I, I'm not going to commit to, you know, at 1500 subscribers or 2000 subscribers or whatever that I, I, I don't want to commit to a number again for when I'm going to do a giveaway, but I do want to do some giveaways in the future, whether it be for another gift card or um, a diamond painting in my collection. Like I've thought about, I have some diamond paintings that I just don't really see myself doing now. I, I, I just have other ones that I want to do, but they still are very pretty. And, you know, I obviously liked them enough to buy them. Um, anyway, so I thought that maybe I could do something where I say, hey, you know what, here's, you know, seven different here's here's five different designs a mixture of round and and square drilled canvases um and we're gonna do a giveaway and the winner can pick which one they want um you know something like that uh so i might do a giveaway where i give away some 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 trays from uh good companies or some ex some pens or something like that i don't know um or or it could just be another gift card again so I'm, I'm not, I'm, 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 like I said, I'm not going to commit to doing it on a certain giveaway number or subscriber number count or anything like that. It's just going to be kind of random, just like, you know what, I haven't done a giveaway in a while. Let's do one. And then I'm, I'll pick what it's going to be and I'll let you know in the whipping chat. So, so, you know, just keep listening to the whipping chats and every once in a while I'll, I'll do a giveaway. Um, so we'll just see what happens. So I did want to mention that, and so hopefully you made it to the end so that you could hear that part. Um, but yes, we should end this video because it is going to be long enough the way it is, even with parts that I cut out. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody last time who let me know that you did watch until the end. Um, that really means a lot to me. So with your comment, if you could throw in a picture of a flower, an emoji of a flower, to let me know that you did listen all the way to the end. That just means a lot to me to know that you, that you do. I don't, I, 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 I does, I, does that make, I'm sure, I'm sure you understand why that means so much to me, but it does, that, that, that you care to listen to every single word that I have to say. And some of you have even said, like, I know that it, I, or I've heard that it helps your channel that if I listen to the video all the way through. Um, and, and you know what? It does. It does for a variety of, of factors. And so um, I, I do know that it does help the channel to have you listen all the way through because it does help to add to our watch hours and things like that. So, so I really, really, really do greatly appreciate that. Um, 
So yeah, so so let's do that again, where if you listen to the end, you put in an emoji of, um, of a flower, any flower, whatever you want. Um, and so yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you have not liked the video yet, if you could like the video as well, um, that is also very helpful. And um, I always appreciate that as well. And, and, and um, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel so that you can, um, you know, be a part of, of this little community that, you know, we're starting here. And, um, and I, I think, I think I am going to start a, a Facebook page too. We'll, we'll see. I haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking about it. Um, and... So yeah, so please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet already, especially if you do want to be in the giveaway, you need to be a subscriber to the channel. Um, I, I just only think that that's fair, but I really do appreciate all of you who also say that um, you subscribe just because you like my content, not because of a giveaway. That means a lot too. Um, those of you who subscribe for the giveaways, hey, I, I, I love that too. Like I, I love a good giveaway, which is one of the reasons why I do them. So thank you. I, 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 I love you all and I thank you all because regardless of the reason why you subscribe to the channel, you subscribing tells me that you like something about me and how can that not make me feel good? You know, whatever the reason is and everybody has a different reason, that makes me feel good. And so thank you for subscribing and doing that and, and making me feel good and valued and appreciated. Thank you. So if you have not yet subscribed and and you think that you may like it here, please go ahead and, and hit that subscribe button. And of course, uh, hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified whenever I do happen to upload a new video, as my video uploads can be quite random. Sometimes I am uploading a lot all at once, and then sometimes it may be a week or two before I get something uploaded. So, um, so having the notification bell can be helpful. Um, and then of course, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Of course, you need to put your complete, uh, the, 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 um, you, you need to put the, um, the giveaway word in the comment section in a complete sentence as well. Um, so make sure that you do that if you have not already. So, all right. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much for making my channel what it has become today. This has been an amazing experience. It's an amazing ride. And I, I cannot express to you how grateful I am. So thank you so very much. I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic day and holiday weekend. Please, everyone, be safe. And if you're not in America, I hope you have a great, wonderful day and weekend as well anyway. Um, Thank you so much, everybody. I hope that you all have wonderful, fantastic, beautiful days. Bye-bye.